Jazz Red Talk Show, and it's uh, I've got something you're gonna you in for a treat today. This was Annie Green when she was 18 years old. Y'all know what nothing but class back then, baby. Nothing but class. Nothing but class. In a minute, we're gonna tell you what's going on. That's Anna Green. She was 18 years old. Wow. <laughs> All the way from down the bay. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show. If y'all seen that picture of that younger lady back there in that gown, well, here she is. Miss Green, what is your name? Annie M. Green. How old are you, Miss Annie M. 91. Green? 91. Ain't she pretty, ladies and gentlemen? And and I, and to, and there her daughter her, her kids are giving her a birthday party and getting things together. They out there barbecuing. I wanted to interview her. I wanted to ask you something, Miss Green. Have times changed to you? To memories. Wow. Well. Were there crime back in the day? If that was crime, but not like this. Not we, like this. We weren't killing with guns and shooting up families and killing babies and and robbing your mama and your daddy for a few nickels or a few pennies. We was loving, we was kind to each other. Wow. What about the dress wear? Oh, we... Dressed. <laughs> Y'all was spiffing in. Y'all dressed. We dressed. Y'all dressed. Yes. Wow. It was, it was six of us girls. Um... We changed dresses. They would say, well, I thought you didn't know who was who. Because you see one of them with one dress on today, and you see the other with the same dress on tomorrow. We changed up, and uh, we had fun. Uh, money wasn't flowing like it is now. Uh, we was very poor, and my mama raised 11 of us without daddy. Wow, single mother, 11 children. 11 of us. With wow. That. I tell people, I said, we love each other. And it's a shame to see how parents are doing all they can for their children and, and on the drugs they kill the parents. It, it is bad. It, it definitely is. Disrespect. Disrespect. And and to be in and to come up in your time at the sea belt, I know it hurts when you see it on the news or you're wondering what are they doing, what is wrong. Wow. I could say this, and we didn't have we didn't have a lot of money, but we had a lot of love. We changed clothes, we even changed shoes. So um, to Dress. show you how how wonderful the time have changed. We are more educated now than we were back then, but we're more dumber than we were back then. Back now, now than we were back then. Yeah, yeah. Well, I understand. You're I see. dumb enough to take uh, drugs and things to ruin your body, mm -hmm. and you tell me that these drugs are detrimental to your health. It's even cigarettes. I don't see how he, it's gonna hurt you. I tell him. I tell him. It's gonna hurt him. My mom had emphysema. It hurts you when you're young. You okay? But I've seen some of them even in the hospital with lung problems, vaping and everything. I mean, yeah, my, my, wow. I had one, two, two, two sisters to die from lung cancer, and it really did hurt. And wow. if I ever get enough money, I believe I'm gonna sue them. They are, the cigarettes are, you remember years ago though, they used to have a man with the head talking about naturally delicious. Uh -huh. Yeah, that it, it was fashionable that, if you were dressed to have your cigarette, cigarette and cigarette and, holder and yeah. you look, you was, that, that was in, but yeah. they didn't tell you. So now you know yeah. and you still yeah. want to pick them cigarettes. Yeah. They know better. But it, it's addictive because mom told me I can't hardly just get out from eight. I'm trying. It was so much addiction in them cigarettes. And um, I'm praying for my, my children. They, I have two that smoke cigarettes. And I'm praying every day that they would get off of them. We're going to pray that God take the taste out of their mouth. Yes. We're going to pray God take the taste out of their mouth. And, and I, I got confused on my health. I, I, one day, I. I had a fever 102. Wow. The next week, I went to the doctor, I had a fever 103. 
I said, God, you take the taste of this cigarette out of my mouth because you're bigger than it. And I had smoked since. And you got off of it. Yeah. Wow. Now, we're not only going to interview this beautiful lady. We've got some of her kids and grandkids. We're going to have a niece that's going to come over and sit by. We'll be back in a minute. Jazzery, we love you. Peace out. Jazzery Talk Show, we are back with uh, one of her nieces. What is your name, man? Nicole. Nicole Kyles McCain. Okay, and you related to this young lady oh, next to you? Definitely. <laughs> most definitely. How was it coming up uh, with uh, Miss Green? How was it uh, coming up under and she was your aunt? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, she she instilled a lot of morals and values in us. Wow. Um, she she um, actively did things with us. I mean, she taught us um, how to cook. We was Girl Scouts under her. Wow. Um, we did troops. We went to, um, we trooped out to Brooklyn Field, slept on the beach. Yeah, you didn't tell me you was a Girl oh, Scout yeah. leader there. Oh, yeah. yeah. She definitely was. Wow. Um, and she was over Taylor Park for a long time. Wow. Um, and she just knows a lot of people in the community. I mean, she is definitely a pillar of the community. Uh, a lot of people love her. They pass by here all the time. It's green. Yeah. I remember you used to whoop us with that 45. She had, little, <laughs> she had this little thing called a 45. And um, she kept kids in line, but a lot of them respect her for that. You know, wow. They, Look they on that, Miss Green. Don't hold your whole year dog laughing at <laughs> they, yourself. They tell her all the time, you know, you know, you know, you kept me in line growing up. And, you know, they come back and they tell her, um, they appreciate that, you know. <laughs> You know something, you do make an impact on a child life when you're in. I'm glad you're there because uh, my, me and my TV viewers got a little gift for when I'm going to want you to open it oh. for her because uh, oh, okay. she going to know what that is. Open that for her there. We're going to show you what a gift is here. Okay, that's one. Well, yeah, we got some cheap bags. You know, it's, it's hard to see. Sometimes you have to see things up close, so I am glad I'm here. Okay, good, good, good. Ooh, now, see, she a little. Now, that's antique. Ooh, ain't uh, nah, that's your fruit bowl. She it. just told me she like fruit, yeah, too. Yeah, and she gonna sit there. That is an antique fruit bowl we have for Miss Green oh, thank you to so put on her table. She got an antique oh, fruit bowl. Y'all see that? Yeah, it's that pretty. Hold up there. Let me show you. This is antique here, ladies and gentlemen. And y'all, y'all that around my age, 60 and above, y'all know. Y'all know about that. They also had them in Mardi Gras glass. So that's my gift to her. Cause you, you can't. It's nothing you can give a person when they get old. They got everything. I'm you, but I know she, she like antiques. She, she love antiques. So uh, you can hand the bowl here. You'll see it on, on the table. table. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. But you know, I'm gonna tell you about your grandma. She had a lot of class. She got a lot of class. Oh, a lot of class. I can sit down and talk Shaw to her about dresser. antiques, <laughs> dolls, dressing, whatever. Uh, we've got class on the show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Um, did the, the young girls had a lot of class, Miss Green, when you were coming up? I seen your picture when you was uh, 18. They seen it when it first come on. But they had a lot of class, didn't they? Cared about they self. They went out there cussing and oh, Lord. waddling out. Cussing everybody. Right now, they are, one was so pretty, she had them long legs on. She would cuss so bad. Talking about, oh, you got a TV show. I need me a TV show. I said, well, I used to cuss like you. When I shut up, that's when God gave me the show. I, I couldn't have had no show with no bad mouth. <laughs> don't nobody want to be bothered with you if you don't know how to carry on just a plain you conversation. If you got a bad mouth, sisters, please, let's work on that. That's why Jazz wasn't married for a long time. <laughs> and I don't want to be married now. But uh, men don't like that. They like you to be dainty and ladylike. And it's unattractive. You know, even just in passing, you hear some young lady, or even a man for that matter, you know, yeah, you it is. Language. It's, it's just not attractive. If you don't have respect for yourself, who you expect to have respect for? Amen. You go down the street, hooping and hollering, saying all of these bad words. I'm scared to bring my grandchildren, great grandchildren out, because I don't want them to learn all of these ugly words. And the, these days, the parents are saying the same thing to the children that the children are saying to them. Darn, man, they, they got it going and on. God said, wow. in the latter days, you're going to be drinking and cussing. Mm -hmm. And he's going to come and take the one that ain't doing it. Yeah. So if, if God ain't pleased, you know man not supposed to be pleased. That's right. That's right. We're going we're gonna to see if we can get that beautiful grandbaby. Is that your great grandbaby? Yeah. We're going to see if we can get our beautiful great grandbaby in. We'll be back in a minute. Peace out. Okay. 
Desiree talk show. We gonna look at that. There she goes. She turning around. Ain't she cute, ladies and gentlemen? Well, this is her mom. Now, who is this sitting next to you? This is my great niece. Your great great granddaughter. Great granddaughter. Yes. Angel. This is an angel. Yeah. Okay. But who is that? This is this is your granddaughter. This is my great granddaughter. Your great granddaughter. Yeah. So this your great great granddaughter. Yeah. This is my great great granddaughter. God, <laughs> Lee, ain't she pretty, ladies and gentlemen? Look at the dog. Get, get on out of here. That dog don't want you in here. And that's kid folk. And that's that's my great grandson. Okay, we gonna get we gonna get him. I need a way. I, I got a way I can introduce him. Let me see if little mama turn around. Look, look Let's see her face. Turn around, little mom. Yeah. Jake, get over there, Let me see. Let me see if I can get. All right, I don't turn. Oh, she know, she know her uncle though. Ain't that some little me and already? Wow, wow. All right, when we come back, we gonna show show another relative here, Jazzy. We love you. Peace out. All right, Jazzy talk show. This young man here, y'all. We gonna shut the door. This young man here, uh, video was on my show. And the name of it was uh, Loyalty. Uh, what's your name, young man? My name is J-Man. I'm from Down the Bay. Y'all can look me up on Facebook, El Loco Solo J-Man. Yeah, a lot of folks know me, man. I got love out here for real. And today, we doing a little gathering for my grandma on her uh, 92nd birthday. So we want to just... 91st. 91st. I'm sorry, grandma. How <laughs> you ahead of you? 91st, 91st birthday. Okay. We want y'all to come out there and just show us some love. You don't need to bring nothing. Just bring love. Oh, well, God. this going to show next week, man. Get on out of here. This We going to go live in a minute. This showing on the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. At the end of the show, ladies and gentlemen, we going to show you his uh video. The name of it is Loyalty. What inspired you to do that, young man? Man, I done been through so many okay. situations where, like... Mm -hmm. It was a situation where I had to pick a choice like is you gonna be like like the clown or you gonna be real So I chose to be real. It's gonna take it's a long process for when you real But you're a clown you can blow up just like that But I'd rather be real and connect with more people that's got you feel my open hearts and open minds and understand life better at a different prospect You hear me? So that's why I chose loyalty over royalty but I take royalty now. I ain't finna turn it down, but yeah. I took royalty before royalty. That's <laughs> okay. That's how I live. Uh oh, she said she wanna get she off the camera. Candy. Yeah, she wanna get off the camera. Yeah. She wants some candy. All yeah. right. Well, uh, at the end of the show, y'all will be able to see his uh, video. We're going to put it at the end of the show. But we're going to show a couple more of her grandkids or whoever else might want to get on. Stay getting ready for her party. Jazz Red, we love you. Family, that's what I'm talking about. Peace out. All right. Uh, she was telling me about a hurricane. So I'm going to want her to tell you. Uh, you seen some people that had went through a hurricane yes. that was devastating. And, and there was the first person I came up on, I was going to say, I'm going to go in Mississippi. And uh, see how it, what what they need or, or okay. how, they, how what happened. Yeah. And first person I came up on was a white man. He told me. Oh. Well, we can't say that word, but uh -huh. the N word. Yeah. He he said they told me he was like that. <laughs> they say he was an N word. <laughs> yeah. They said he know Jesus black now. <laughs> But the next corner I went to, it was two white women. Uh -huh. They had lost everything. Yeah. And they were praising God. They were praising. Isn't that, isn't that a blessing? Yes, it Everybody's is. Everybody's not mean. That's Everybody right. Everybody knows that regardless of what happened to us, Jesus is still in control. Wow. Always that. Wow, wow, wow. All right, I wanted y'all to hear that. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, we got an important dignitary here. What's your name, young man? My name is Daddy. Huh? My name is Daddy. What? Wait, what is it? Mr. Ward. Mr. Ward, there you go. Mr. There you go. Mr. Ward, can I get him a picture or something? Yes, sir. This ain't no picture. We live for TV. Hold on one minute. Me too. Mr. Ward. I'm live for TV. Y'all know them young folk back in the day. I used to have to wrestle with them. I can't wrestle with them now. He want to give her a hug. That's my grandma. Man. He want to give her a hug. Let me give a Merry Christmas to you. He giving a hug too. Give a hug. All right. Oh, that's that's great grandma right now. Everybody hugging. Hey, baby. How you doing? There you go. Give me a All kiss. Right. What's wrong with you? All right. House is full, Stop ladies and gentlemen. We got to live in the hood. Which one that is? Yeah. All right. That's him, boy. Now, this is, uh, this is her brother here. This is her brother. 
And he come by to give a hug. He, I've been here before. He always come by checking on. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all doing good, man. I don't, I don't even see my sister now. We don't get along like that. But y'all get along real good. Get along pretty good. Y'all come on by. I seen you coming over. And y'all play cards every now and then. I gotta learn how to play. Have a little outing. Have a little outing. Have y'all fish? Do y'all go fishing? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Uh, fish. I'm gonna have to get y'all one day fishing. But anyway, I know they waiting on her to go outside. So we're gonna say again, happy birthday. Once I get outside, it'll just be a lot of noise. But y'all will be able to see some of her people, okay? Because they're gonna drown it out with the music a little bit. <laughs> All right, we getting ready to walk over. Uh, to a little gathering, birthday party, whatever it is they giving because they got it turned up. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. <laughs> Jazz Red Talk Show, we here with an important dignitary. What's your name, young man? You? <laughs> What's your name? It's Mac. They call me Doc. They call you Doc. It's Mac Boy. Mac Boy. You come by to uh, wish you a happy birthday and you dropped off a little something. Wow, people don't forget you when you do good things, though. That's right. Wow. You look good there. You dressed all spiffy. Thank you. All right, ladies Thanks. and gentlemen. Y'all see a handsome man here. <laughs> Come to wish Miss Green happy birthday, and Jazz Red. Thank you for, for the gift that he gave. Yeah, that's right. You getting it today, good. Girl, you need a bodyguard, don't you? <laughs> Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Okay, I'm going to walk back. Look, I had got, I had got, uh, Jazz Red talk show. What's your name? Blue Man, Tear. All right, is that your great grandma? Yes. That's your great grandma. That's right. Wow, this is Reggie's son. All right, we're going to wait on the oldest son. He got to slip on something. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, I wanted you to show, see her neighbor. That's her neighbor that brought her a car. But I guess her his son, his son will make his intro in a minute. All right, what's your name? Adele. Adele, and uh, that's your mom here. Uh -huh. This is my mother, and this is Riley, our friend and neighbor. All right, all right. Well, y'all see Adele. All right. All right, we're right. getting ready to walk out. we waiting on Mr. Herbert Green here. Come on here. Okay. Jazz Red Talk Show, we've been waiting on her oldest son here. What's your name now, young man? Herbert Green. All right, is that your mommy there? That's my beloved. Yeah, I ain't driving. He ain't going nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to be right there with mom. Trust me. Trust me. Wow. He loves mom. That's up. Ain't that good? Ain't that good? How was it, how was it uh, coming up with... Uh, how, how, how was it coming up with Miss Green? Oh, I'm telling you. It's your mom. Plenty of fun. Yeah. Plenty of excitement. Wow. Adventures. <laughs> that lady loved you, Herb. I love you know that? She loved you. <laughs> All right, well, we just wanted you to see the sun in a minute. We're going to see y'all under the tent. We're going to walk over there, and then that'll be the end of that. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, and I'm your host, Jazz Red, and here she is, Lady of the Hour. We done had our interview. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We done had our interview, and they finna feed her. She finna sit down and eat. Wow. 90 years old, ladies and gentlemen. 90, 90 years old. Everybody love her. Yeah. 91. 90. Oh, 91. I keep saying 90. All right, they got plenty of food. We're going to show you a plate. They finna fix us something to eat. Everybody putting a little something in their hand there. We love you, Miss Green. Wow. They're going to get ready to fix a plate. We're going to show you the plates and what they're working with and everything. When we come back, Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, this is Herbert, and this is his fiance. Ain't she pretty? She Ain't she beautiful? Yeah, she beautiful? She gone, gentlemen. Don't be looking. Peace out. <laughs> Jazz Red Talk Show, we showing you the food. They got even steak, pork chops, more stuff than this, but this is the plate here, and it's set up for the queen here, and we're going we gonna to say hello. And that lady there, y'all done seen her on my show. Lady, you be everywhere. <laughs> you, you be everywhere. What's your name? Nina Lewis. Nina Lewis, you be everywhere. Supportive of everything. Yeah. Nina Lewis, that's since she was seven years old. Wow, wow. Seven years old, that's a long time. God, dog, so y'all were seven years old. God is good. Uh, Nina Lewis. I'll be 74 next month. She'll be 74 in, uh, next month, wow. This is what it's about. She got all her family, all her in-laws, everybody is here for mom. And uh, Miss Green, we gonna say happy birthday and then we gonna let them turn that music back on. <laughs> Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. <laughs>
this is uh this is Shirley. That's uh Shirley, and that's her daughter, and she able to make it up. They gonna sing happy birthday as we say peace out. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Everybody sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Y'all here to go. Oh, he going with another verse. We better get out here on Jazzy We love you. Peace out. You can't sing no way, man. Bye. Jazzy Red Talk Show, and I'm your host, Jazzy Red. Now, y'all know... Jazz don't tell nobody what day or birthday is, but this the cake lady. Y'all know her, her and her son showed you how to make a cake. I wanted to show you a cake she made for my birthday. She said it might come early, and it did. But I am finna enjoy myself by my fireplace when I get back home. Because Bobby, thank you, Bobby made me a dinner. He brought me something to eat. So at least I have something to eat. That's going to be my breakfast and my dinner. But then I, I, I eat my cake. But we finna, we finna show you something. She made two cakes. And we're going to show you the other one too. All right, now this is another cake she made. She said this is her experiment cake. It is a chocolate pound cake. I've never seen a chocolate pound cake or uh, heard of one. They have one. Okay, so we finna cut a cake. We finna see some. Jazz, we'll be back in a minute. She's cutting the cake now. We finna look at this cake here. I've never seen a chocolate pound cake. Have any of you all heard of that? Look at that. Look at the texture on that cake. Wow. I don't even look like it. Okay, good. yeah, but yeah, but that's a chocolate pound cake. Give them your name, girl. Felicia Lett. Felicia Lett. Girl, I'm breaking out. Let's let's try it. Mm, Ooh, look at the cook. Mmm. That is good. That is mm. moist and soft. It's good. This your first time making first that? First time making this one. That's it. Mm-mm. That's it. I mm -hmm. you like that. All right. Dad got my foot cake. I'm finna go. Thank you, uh, Miss Lit, for this You're cake. You're welcome. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Not right now. It melted in your mouth. Fun wow. Fun. Well, Jazz finna take her cake. I'm gonna load up the truck and head to Beverly. Yo, this girl said she made some chili bean. Girl, you can give me some. I'm, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat some chili bean. Make me a little bowl. Right. Give me some. I'll eat it right here. Okay. Jazz Red, we love you. Thank you. It's so good, first time. Girl, it is. She bragging on her girl. It's so good. It is. Mm -hmm. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Yes, yes. Look, what's the pearls? Tops. Okay, those are some tops with yes, the bills. Yes, sleep. Different tops. It has sleep. pearls on it. The pearls on the oh, sleeve with the cutout. Wow. That is so cute. It yes. got little cutouts. Uh huh. That is so beautiful. Now, this is uh oh, adorable I like too. that. The oh, the zipper. Oh. It's like a cardigan, the sleeve. Oh, please. Kind of got the puff. Girl, I'm sorry, y'all. I was looking at it. Yes, wow. Yes. We also okay. have these. Look, uh, oh, now that's sharp. You know, I like that. Jogging. Yeah, little wow. Yes, I yes. like that. Wow. All Girl, right. you coming to the 70s got now. Y'all friend. know I like some friend. Yeah. Jazz a little the friend. Yes. We wow. I'll be to rock that with one of them skirts. Girl, mm -hmm. get me a turf <laughs> neck. I'll be to rock that. Okay. And then here's the sweaters again. Like oh, I said, wow. they're, yeah, they're soft. soft. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Black and white. Wow. So you got a lot of yes, sweaters. We also have. This little cute card. Bling bling. Yes. Wow. The I like ombre it. look. I like that. It's absolutely beautiful. You had something in the wonder out here I wanted okay. to. She got some stuff she got displayed out here, but uh -huh. it was something in the wonder I wanted to show them. Oh, look at that. How y'all oh, like that? Yes, yes, yes. Girl, yes. and then you got that ensemble together. Uh huh. That's what I was telling wow. you. Wow. Whatever you You can put that. God. Yes, yes. That's that black top we showed uh -huh. you with that. Now, those pants. This is. Yeah, I'm letting y'all see it, the sweater dress and everything, those pants. We got it. It the wonder's not doing anything for those pants. We finna show you these Let's pants. Check them we finna out. give them. Okay, Lord, here. look at this here. You know, look at him. This is the flowy wow. here skirt. It is absolutely beautiful. Wow. It's very soft. Wow, yes, I like yes, that. Yes, yes. And that it looks like a blue, but it's in a purple. It's looking blue, but it's a purple. It's like a cobalt purple blue. Wow. Yes, All right. What's that white girl? Beautiful. Wait a minute now. <laughs> I got to get up out of here. You yes. took over my show. Let yes. me see. I like this. Look yes, at this. Absolutely. How y'all like this? Well, this is a wow. tear skirt. Yeah, that yes. is beautiful. This is in a 3X. Girl, we taking y'all home shopping yes. network. Yes. 
<laughs> wow, she's trying to hide the good stuff. All right. Now, as far as these pants mm -hmm. here. Wow, look at that. She took it out now, the one the lady. Oh, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And got the top go with yes, it. Stripe yes, on yes, the yes. side tight. For my tall ladies, wow. it comes in tall. For my plus ladies, it comes in plus. Oh, they that also is come tedaphy. in gold too. Wow. But they are on back order. But we will have the men sometime wow. next month. Okay. All what is right. what is this, girl? Girl, you, what is that? What is that? Oh, yes. What is that? It's a funky looking top. Oh, Very wow. Cute. Now that yeah, is I got beautiful. The front, you know. That is beautiful. This thing going on. So here's the sleeve here. All and right, it has you wear it on. Short sleeve and it's here. got a short sleeve there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, and it also comes in black as well. Oh wow. Okay, what is this here? And then what, we, is, what is this? Okay. I'm looking at all that. <laughs> Little tops here. That's cute. This is a simple black top, but it's got all the detail, the wow. detail to it. So yes, it's very. You got some beautiful stuff. And for my AKAs. Uh oh. What color you want, honey? Uh oh, AKA. Yes. Wow. Yes, yes. <coughs> How y'all like that? Coming. How y'all like that? What oh, coming? I'm just looking here, looking here. Yes, yes. Jazz is showing so whatever it, girl. That's you decide, it. Huh? They got it, girl. They yes. get, she got it. I love all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. Again, we have sizes small all the way up to 4X. Girl, what is so it? Phone you number. Decide. The number <coughs> that you can call us at. It's area code 251 <coughs> 303 Oh, that girl. Girl, I'm yes, trying. Before I get out of here, we're showing. Sexy top. That is Why beautiful. With a really cute bra, some cute that jeans. That is beautiful. And a, a pump or high heel, and you will be owning the town. Wow, girl. Give them that phone number. <laughs> Jazz, and them. Jazz won't hear anything now. Forget yes, about him. Yes. It's criminal Again, time. Oh, the yeah. location here is 4805 Moffitt Road, Road, Sweet B. Sweet B. The number is 251-303-7705. All right. Jazz going to show them something in case y'all just turned the channel. Jazz going back to this. <laughs> How y'all like that? Y'all got to come out. The number has been going across the screen. The name of the business is? My Size Boutique. My Size Boutique. Y'all got to come out. Invite them out. Tell them happy holiday. Happy holiday. Y'all come out. The phone number been going across the screen. Yes. Give her a call so you can come out to her boutique yes. with her yes. lovely stuff. Thank you for living. Thank you so Look much. Look at I enjoyed this. Yes, wow, absolutely. that done hyped me up. <laughs> Give her a call. Jazz Red, we love you. Thank Peace you. out. Give them the phone number again. 251-303-7705. Mm -hmm. All right. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show, get your kids in front of this television. We've got a, a, a pastor here that's a former, and then, and a while back y'all have seen him, but I come back because this is the beginning of uh, planning and we want to show the kids. What's your name, Rip? Reverend Darrell Spencer. Wow. Tell my viewers what this is here. Uh, we we going to go on this end. Tell them what this is well, here. The immediate right we have collar plants that have been set out. They, they're just a week old. They just a week old? Yeah. But they that big at a week? Yeah, well, I bought the plants from Mary Montgomery School. Mary Montgomery School? Yes. They that, okay, and they that, well, they're a week old. Yeah. All right. And now. these other rows are turnips. Okay. Turnips. Yeah, they, they are, all of this is planting on, planting on a bed. Because okay. this is low lying property, and if I plant flat on the ground, my crop will drown. So wow! I must plant on a bed. You plant on a bed. That's the reason All my for planting. It's on a bed. It's on a bed. That's the reason for pulling it up like this. Yeah. Now you said this is the beginning, and you're gonna do something else. Yeah, it's a process. <laughs> okay. It, it first start with a cultivating a disking. I disk the property first. Cut That's real this. good. Okay. And then I put a one row bed or plow on. A one row. It makes this mound that you see like this. Oh, okay. And then I knock the mound down, kind like, of flat top it like, like that. This. Then you flat top. Then I plant my seed on the top of the bed. Wow. That way, when the rain comes, it won't drown. The the water will remain in the fur. And here. Oh, and, and that'll be like a fertilizer. Yeah, uh, it, and it won't drown my plants. It won't drown your plants, and it'll have moisture. Yes. Wow. And it works very good. Wow. Now, how in the world 
Did you learn, did you come on a farm? Nah, no farming lineage in my family. This is just a ministry that God had me to do and I was blessed to get involved with Volunteers of America. He called you. He called you for this. And Volunteers of America. And in turn, through Bobby Cunningham, or Pastor Bobby Cunningham, uh -huh. was working for the ag industry, working for John McMillan, which was the commissioner of agriculture of the state of Alabama, got me hooked up with John McMillan, was the commissioner. And it has just been a blessing. It's been a blessing. Yes. We, we're going to we sell anything for no profit. No profit. It's all strictly charity and whoever, wherever that have a need that are have feeding ministries are more than welcome for these free Wow. Vegetables. When we were live, Gregory West came on there and I'm going to get him, get you up with him. Come on, let's walk over here and show him right quick what you're working with. Uh, yeah, I see his truck there. That's what he pulled. This big tractor with kids, you gonna like this. Look at here, look at here. Here, here, a brother with a John Deere. Y'all gonna see that's what I call him, a brother with a John Deere. So you got the John Deere. Now what is this right here? This that's what you can put the John Deere on. Yeah, I can put my disc, bush hog, planters, all oh. that on this trailer. On that trail. And that trailer mm -hmm. over there is used for whatever I want. It's a big 20-foot dump trailer. I oh. can carry. Up to almost 30,000 pounds of anything on it. God, Lee. Wow, real God. You, you high darling. I mean, you got the real thing to be talking about. Uh, wow. Well, God is good. I God, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. I started with a borrowed planter. You're a borrowed planter? No, no, no. A borrowed tiller. A t tiller. From the, it was a guy, his name was Aubrey Lee Perkins. He, used to, he owns that house right there. Okay. And I started with a little strip right along there. Right along there. With his tiller. And I used to plant over on Bragg Mitchell's area. Wow. Strip. And I went from that to a used John Deere 60 horsepower to... Uh, 80 horsepower used John Deere, and then I bought my first brand new 52 horsepower, and I went from that to a 65 horsepower new to a 93 horsepower new wow. to this 100 horsepower new. Wow, how y'all like that, kid? God is good. We're gonna get a phone number and we're gonna get out of here. Uh, we're gonna get a phone number. Give us a phone number, your name again, your name. Reverend Darrell Spencer, and my phone number is 251-510-7329. Anybody that has a, a, a feeding ministry, yes, they are more than welcome to receive fresh vegetables at any time. I, it's winter and summer gardens here. Wow. And we're looking forward to working with the convent. The convict, the nuns convict. On You're gonna Spring be up Hill there. We're gonna wow. give them a big corn field. We're gonna have a corn field and we're just gonna come out there and film it. Yeah. Before and when you get it uh, already where the corn is out there. Yeah. Jazz is gonna be picking corn. I love you. Thank you for helping in the community. You're an awesome man of God. Uh, and you was a welder. You do a lot. You do a lot. Thank you so much. Y'all get up with the rev. Jazz gonna get on out of here and let, let the farmer handle his business. He up early in the morning. Got to get up early. <laughs> All right, Jazz and Red, we love you. Peace out. Red Talk Show. We are here at Hands of Mercy. All right. We we just gonna pump this stove, baby. Let me tell you, because they got some nice stuff. How you like that? How you like that? That is brass, pure brass. Wow. We're gonna show you another item. Jazz Red Talk Show, I wanted you to look at this china cabinet. While I know you can say, I bet my mom had one of these. This is real wood. It is not particle mold, okay? It's not particle mold. It's real wood. You need to come in here and check this out. You need to come check it out. Probably got something that go with it. You might have a buffet that your mom had. Y'all need to come and check this china cabinet out. Wow. Look at that. Jazz always taking you somewhere. You ain't got to do nothing but look at it and come on down here to Hands of Murphy on Ma Mercy on Murphy Road. Jazz Red. Now I'm going to tell you what I found. 
I wasn't able to film it because they came and bought it. A buddy man like Pink. Hey, hey, baby, hold up a minute. TV, this TV, this TV. Hold up one minute. <laughs> Look, a buddy man wanted a stove. How about a, she like Pink. I found a Pink stove right up in here. She got it. Jazz Red, you missed that. Jazz Red, we love you. We're going to show you something else. All right, Jazz Red was telling you if you had might have had the buffet. Here go the buffet right here. Come on, man. Y'all know about this, man. I, I got I got my mom's. You put your forks and spoons and your dishes up in there. Here it is. You got your china cabinet and your buffet. Let me tell you about antique stuff. I know you young girls don't like antique stuff. But if something can last through the 20s, the 30s, and the 40s, and it's 2000, you got yourself some. Wow. We're going to come back with the uh, owner and the uh, address. Peace out. Jazz Red Talk Show. We got the CEO here. He gonna give you the address and the phone number. Tell him your name, Red. This is Reverend John W. Smith. Business of Hands of Mercy. Thrift Store. 4805 Moffitt Road. This, the, the different appliances that we sell. Wash machine, refrigerators, stove, all type of variety of furniture. Come and check us out. Yeah, but just come and good. check it out. Check it out. Thank you. All they got to do is come Thank in here. Yes. They're going to buy something. Come on. All come you got to do down. is come, come on down. And let's make a deal. Let's get that phone number real. 643 3820. All right, y'all give. 651 643 3820. Y'all give Rev a, a call and come check him out. He yes. got it. He got it in here. Yes. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz Red Talk Show, and I'm your host, Jazz Red. We're here for a special occasion. Y'all know my buddy. What's your name, buddy? Paulette Horton. Okay, what are we here for today? Well, uh, I inherited, this is my, my grandparents' home, and I inherited it back in 2016. And it was in disrepair, and I took two years to renovate it. And today, we're going to bless it, and we got all the ancestors here, and we're gonna pray over it, and we're going to march in. And, and this is my little niece, Brittany, and she's gonna do the ribbon cutting. She's gonna do the ribbon cutting. All she's right. This one here, yes. All right. Well, when we come back, we're gonna have prayer. We're gonna have prayer first. Uh, well, he's gonna be praying as we. Oh, okay. All right. Walking through the house. All right. When we come back, little mama's gonna cut it for cut the ribbon for us. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. Jazz Red, we're back with the ribbon cutting. On you, Paulette. Okay, this is Brittany. She's getting ready to cut the ribbon as we march into the home that's just renovated. It is Thanksgiving, so everybody's been, you know, eating something. But <laughs> but this is Brittany getting ready to cut the ribbon. All right, on you, little Brittany. Wow. All right. All right. All right. They're going to get ready to march in. We'll have prayer. Jazz Red Talk Show, the family getting ready to march in. Come on in, Paulette. Yeah. The, 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 the grand, the great grand, the great great grand, and the great 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 grandchildren. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here we go. Y'all say hey. All right. Wave at my TV viewers. They're getting ready to go in. All right. We have some young man we're going to get prayer for. And I want to thank that young man. He always donating and helping when Jazz says somebody in need. All right. Paulette's heart and daughter there. And I know that's her sister. This is the rest of the family members. Where that little boy with that afro was laughing at me. There he is. TV viewers seeing, laughing at Jazz and Ray. We're going on the inside. Pray. Father in heaven, thank you for this day and thank you for this gathering. And thank you for helping us to restore this home. Uh, this home will be a godly home and no unclean spirits are welcome. So, on behalf of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we bless this room. Thank you. Amen. Amen. We're going to another room. Okay, he going this way. He going this way. We keeping it live, y'all, so y'all can see him praying. This is how you do it. Back in the day, everybody prayed for a, uh, the house. Have your house blessed. I got to get him over there to pray for my daughter. Huh? Yes, ma'am. All right. Okay, go ahead. Again, we bless this room on behalf of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and no unclean spirit as well. All right. Tell them to hold it uh, down a little bit with the prayer. 
Yeah. All right. And here we go to the kitchen. We're going to the kitchen. Y'all know they've been cooking, so they got a lot of vittles. They got a lot of vittles everywhere. Yeah, vittles. They got a lot of vittles everywhere. This house was... All right, we're going. We'll tell you later about it. Come on with it. Right. Father in heaven, we bless this room, this kitchen, and on behalf of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and no unclean spirit as well. All right, we done the kitchen. Mm -hmm. All right, this how you, this how you do it, young know, folks. You get your house sprayed on. Wow. Okay. You're learning something today. All right. Father in heaven, bless this room, bless this house, uh, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and no unclean spirit is welcome. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Go on to another room, ladies and gentlemen. First one. Bear with us. Got a light in here? There you go. Yeah, all right. We had another room. That's all right, Rhea. Come on, pray, Rhea. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Father in heaven, bless this room. Bless this family. Uh, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And no unclean spirit is welcome. All right, we're going to another room. We're going to see how Rib do with that loft. Rib might have to send a long distance prayer with that loft. She got a loft, too. We're going to another one, y'all. Y'all be quiet when the pastor get in now. Y'all got to be calm with the pastor. Well, he say he's not a clergyman, but... Father in heaven, bless this bedroom. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And no unclean spirit is welcome. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Go to the patio. 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 This girl really patio. fixed this house up. We pray she from getting it prayed on. Oh, yeah. We're going to the patio now. Okay, we're going to the patio. Why are you All right. Y'all watch the step. All right. Okay. Oh. Right. All right. They don't see it. Okay. Oh, Lord, Thank you for this day and bless this patio in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And no unclean spirit is welcome in this residence. All right. Amen. Gonna pray on the backyard. Yeah. Let's pray on the backyard. Go on back there and pray on the back backyard. <laughs> pray on the backyard. <laughs> All right. You gonna pray on the backyard, y'all. And the sun is. It is a beautiful day. Thanksgiving morning. Wow. On you. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you, Father, for this family. Thank you for blessing this residence, this property, on behalf of the Harden Davis family, and no unclean spirit is welcome on this property. Right. Thank you. Now, Paulette, uh, tell them uh, what you got planned. I'm sitting this down. Tell them what you got planned for this uh, for this house. I, they need well, to hear it. I know you've seen it before. These are my my uh, my nieces. They always call this the chill out house. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is where you're going to do what? Chill out. Yeah, chill out. And, and eat sodas and stuff. It's, it's just a, it's, it's a fun place for my family. My, my grandfather built this house for my grandmother in 1951, and he moved her in it as, you know, in a brand new house. So uh, it was left to me, and I decided to renovate it. So if uh, anybody in the family need a place to live, they have a place. Wow. You're so special. Anybody in my family need a place to live, don't come to my house. Jazz Red, <laughs> we love you. Good night. Peace out. Bless this day. Bless this property. 
the property for the Horton Davis family in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And no unclean spirit is welcome on this property. This is a godly property. Thank you. All right, Paulette, you tell them about, again about this house here now. Okay, this is my sister Harriet. Okay. And we remember uh, being here with Grandmama and Granddaddy. This house was built in 1951, and my mother, uh, my grandmother, my grandfather built it for my grandmother in 1951. Get over there, little mama. Come on. Let them see you. Nah, you family. And there you we, go. we had a lot of you know fun in, in this home, and it was left to me because they passed on, and I decided to renovate it. And what we're going to do with it, if anybody in my family ever need a place to live, they will have a place. All right. Jazz Red, we love you. Peace out. This is hit by loyalty on the block with the rock. Let me feed my daughter, please. Loyalty, loyalty. This is hit by loyalty on the clock with the clock. Tryna pay my lawyer fees for loyalty and royalty. This just a song I made for the lawyer breed. The lawyer breed for loyalty and royalty. This just a song I made for the lawyer breed. The lawyer breed, yeah.
Jazz and Red Talk Show. I'm your host, Jazz and Red. This is my mom's favorite song, and we're going to do it in a skit. And Reality is going to sing it for us. On you, Mr. Reality. You got to know when to hold them. When to fold them. Know when to walk away. Oh, and run. <laughs> you don't count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough counting when the day is done. Thursday. 